All right, we're going to toss it over to Christine, who is in Simpsonville with one of my favorites, Wonder Boy. Please tell him we said hello here, Christine. Oh, we got a Megan favorite. Love to have it. Yes, Stephen Wonder Boy Thompson. You can see him right next to me, the celebrity of Simpsonville in the greater upstate area. Yes. For sure. Yeah, and big hello to Darby the dog. We heard about her just a few minutes ago. Love that. Stephen is a dog, too. And Ray Thompson here. He's going to start us off telling us about upstate karate. Hey, listen, this place sounds fantastic. Very well-rounded place to help kids grow yeah. and maybe in a, in a good way, right? A little bit differently than just fighting. Yeah. Uh the, the martial arts has a whole lot of aspects to it. Uh, the, the kicks and punches and techniques is, are really the small part. We try to develop, work on developing the person from the inside out, yeah. I guess you would say. Uh, we've been in Simpsonville uh, since uh, September of uh, 83, actually. Wow. So Why did you next, pick Simpsonville, may I ask? Uh, I moved, it was a growing town. Uh -huh. and I moved here uh, from Charleston. Okay and decided I wanted to come up here and continue my martial arts training. Wow. So and while I was up here training, I decided, you know what? I think I could help the community if I were to just offer what I had to, what, what I've been learning. Very so good. So we opened our school in 83 and been at it heavy and duty every, ever since. So martial arts, three years and up, right? Three years old I and think up. Somebody started when they were three, <laughs> yep. probably younger, yes, maybe yep, even. Yes. Yeah. He was not even a year old when we opened our doors, so we've been at it a while. And you know, he, he's uh, the youngest 39-year-old you probably ever want to see. See you, Wonder Boy Thompson, 39. There you go, Ray. Are you proud of your son? I'm extremely proud of him. He's worked hard all his life. Uh, we butt heads every now and again. <laughs> But I wouldn't be here. Details here. I wouldn't be here if it wasn't for this guy. Though, I love for sure. that. What does it mean to you to be able to start so small? And it sounds like really martial arts instills something more than just getting anger out. If yeah, fighting, I mean, if you want to get some frustrations out. The great way, okay. to, you know, coming up, say karate. We'll take care of that. But you know, the martial arts is not just taught me how to be a good, you know, um, fighter, but being a good human being. You know. Martial arts is, you know, the kicking and punching is a small aspect, like he said. It's about the modesty, courtesy, showing respect, awesome. showing integrity, showing that indomitable spirit is what the martial arts is all about. Do you feel like it's important to instill that young? I know a lot of students have a lot of different things coming at them. Social media, they've got plenty of things going on at school. Why does this help starting young? In today's world, for sure, 100%. Like social media, you don't know what they're, what they're uh, consuming, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. So in the martial arts, to be able to have something like Upstate Karate that teaches the kids that, I think it's amazing. Helps our community out, oh, and yeah. um, that's where it starts. Okay, can I get some, um, maybe brag on yourselves a little bit. Tell me about awards, maybe fights you've won most recently. Let, let me maybe brag on titles. him, he won't brag on himself. I love that, okay. here Dad. So, Stephen been fighting since he was a kid. He's, he's won five kickboxing world titles. Uh, he's traveled all over the world. He's a number six ranked fighter in the welterweight division in Love the UFC. That. And he's here in Simpsonville. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. What he else? He lives here. Uh, he, he fights for the largest fight promotion in the world, the mm -hmm. UFC. Yeah. Uh, he's been he's been fighting, like I said, he's, since he was a, a young lad. Very good. <laughs> yeah. Just a couple of awards here in front of us this as well. This is a world title fight. He won back in 05 in Zagged, Hungary. It was a what? 170, how many? 170 countries represented. 170 this countries world represented seriously. in this tournament. And, uh, and this won. is the in and that. This is what I'm most proud about. I don't have the UFC title yet, but I'm working on yet. it. Yet. So I'm known as the nicest guy, right? Okay. The nice. So there's 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 a, there's a bad there's a bad guy and there's the a nice guy, but I'm the nicest the BMF, guy. Wow. There's a BMF and there's an NMF. <laughs> He's known as the NMF, the there nicest. You go. The nicest guy. So, Very good. With just a couple seconds left, tell us how it. we can follow you, cheer for you. Yeah, so you guys can check us out on Google UpstateKarate.com, on okay. social media, okay. at Upstate Karate. We'll put that at WSBA.com. Definitely come out, support Stephen for sure, and check out Upstate Karate, especially for your family.